sometimes you don't have enough time to watch a cast Sometimes you need a cast that's twice as fast Hey, he's got you, he's got the faster cast Hey, he's faster cast is always your friend Hello there, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Fast Ocast. New dear sir, of course, are going twice as fast. As we're going to be watching a fantastic game between Barton and Luciano. It was played today, and the great thing about this game is both players confirmed to me in private before I even started the cast that it's a fantastic game. Uh, interestingly, good luck, have fun. Did you recover with your thumb? Nope, feels bad, man. I mean, I'm still able to play, but still. This guy's had an industrial incident on his thumb. He works in factories in Poland. Um, so, <laughs> off of thumb, closer to being curry. So, yeah. Barton, everybody, as OKW in the South, former number one player in the world as of 2014. This guy's still a damn good player. He's up against Luciano from South America. I think it might be Brazil this guy's from. He's playing as the Soviets. Barton's already locked in a double Sturm Pioneer build, everybody. Double Sturm Pioneers rocking it out with eight Sturm Gewehrs blaring. So, as I say, both players, uh, one of the players uploaded the replay and told me, you've got to cast this, it's great. And then I asked the other player, is this a good game? And he said, absolutely, you need to cast it. So I'm like, whoa, okay, fair enough. Let's, uh, even though I've got a really bad cold, I'm going to cast it anyway. So let's hopefully, hopefully I can keep up with it. Folks, Grenadiers are amassing. Stern Pioneers are busy capping up north. Penal Battalion pushed away. And here comes the... M3, of course. M3 built in pretty much 90% of Soviet games versus OKW. Uh, second combat engineer has gone south to cap. Here comes those stern pioneers, those boys. You best run. 41 kill on the M3. Looks like penal battalions are going to stay behind the medium cover fence. These two very prominent green cover vans are huge focal points of the map. Villa Shanka, made by Trick, of course. I think Talisman may have aided in the making of this one. It's kind of cool that he recruits top players to co-author a map, or at least like guide the features, let's say. Penal Battalion pushed away from now. Got the Rook 9 Flamethrower in the scout car. So, uh, oh, he's, he's just out-muscling it with car 98. Mauser rounds out-muscling the scout car. He looked death in the face and laughed. That is Barton in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a light softener here. I should probably use that. Just makes me lighter from a different angle. It's great getting a green screen to work. Fortscrendi is forced away there. He kept a one man Fortscrendi in the battle against a two man combat engineer for way too long there, Barton. He was dicing with death, but he wants to protect this cutoff at all costs. And here come the penal battalions. They want it. They want it badly. Schwerpanzer Schlepper. Is, is he going to go on pushing duty? He is indeed. He can try and push the penals around, stop them shooting, and allows the stern pioneers to carry on and uh, causes a fish in a barrel effect there. M3 is getting some pot shots in. Raketenwerf is waiting though. In perfect angle and gets the shot in. Shane, there was no follow up for Barton there. Of course, with the Overwatch doctrine, you'll notice these JLIs have come in from the off map. They can no longer come in from a garrison now. So that's a uh, pretty, pretty good nerf. They've had three nerfs though in the past month in two separate patches. So um, interesting to see if they're still as powerful as they once were. And again, I'll reiterate, I like the fact that uh, Co2 is now being balanced a little bit with economy rather than reducing power. I, I think I like having powerful things in the game. Nice and centering grade. Snares two penal battalions. This is dangerous for the two man. Oh, and he dies in the fire. His friend gets a penal battalion satchel charge off. Oh, and the Rakettenwerfer takes out the M3. Oh, God, that's gone very badly for Luciano. Very quickly, indeed. Double Stone Pioneers kept at bay. 15 kills on this one. I believe there's been a lot of mines uh, going to be planted in this game. A little look at the build orders, and I saw mines and mines and mines by Luciano. Nice cut off taken by Barton there. With the folks current ideas and their JLI cousins. Overwatch flares ignite and unveil so much of the map. Look at that line of sight it grants. Fantastic stuff. Makes Overwatch one of the most 
probably joint with Special Operations as the most lucrative um, OKW commander in one versus one play, I would say. Penal Battalions take refuge and take some excellent shots in. Nice mine sweeping by both players. Always a hallmark of a, a near top level game at least. Oh, there you go. There's more mines as we look on through the flames. Focus Grenadiers are getting the decap. Need Sephiroth music to play there or something. This mine is in a good position. Meanwhile, we've got Penal Battalions cutting off the JLIs, but they're behind green cover. So you fancy them to win that encounter, and indeed they do. Rocket and Verfa pushed away. Maxim now out, so he's gone for tier two. That's a sign of a guy that feels like he's on the back foot. Looks like we just had a retreat through the, the, the hail of Mauser rounds. Maxim pushing it in. Luciano's getting to 260 man power. Wonder if he'll go for a second, Maxim. Stone Pioneers and JLIs take refuge in the church and behind the van, respectively. The Maxim peppers them with fire as though, as though they're rebels in the British Empire. Rebels armed with sharpened mango. Ooh. This penal plane has seven kills. Has to get out of there, though. Meanwhile, we've got a folks grenadier here that's duking it out against that penal battalion. Combat engineer thinking twice about engaging this new JLI squad. So that's two JLIs. And again, the cutoff taken by Barton. Some excellent play. Stone Pioneers evade the suppression of the second built Maxim now. LEFH is an option, should he need it. Meanwhile, there's some battles going on for eternity, it seems. The fuel's being attempted to be harassed yet again by Barton. He makes it inside the garrison. Penal battalions amass with one Mosin Nagant rifle of the combat engineers. Ah, look at this. He waits and then he jumps in. That's Barton's troll tactics in full order. He'll give you three seconds to get close to the building to get out of cover and then he'll jump in the building. Classic play there. A third JLI squad makes its way onto the battlefield. Mine detonated there. Stern Pioneers lose two models. That's a very cost-efficient mine. Good positioning by the Rock 9 Flamethrowers. Shock troops coming in as well. Couldn't quite make it, but double sprint utilised for the GLIs. And the upgrade to the G43. Of obvious grenade thrown, but of course it pushes them out of cover, so it's successful. Maxim suppresses the folks Grenadiers. Has to reposition, though. Meanwhile, the penal... That's a demo charge there. Look out for that one in the late game. That'll be interesting. Maxim giving supporting fire as the penal battalions try and gouge this JLI's out of the church. Church is going to need renovations for sure. Schwer Panzer headquarters is now set up. Ensuring Barton a steady... Oh! Was that a squad wipe? No, it looks like he got away. We don't quite have Tank OV Battalion Command yet for Luciano, but it doesn't matter because he's using these Maxims as an excellent springboard. And here comes the tactical, cohesive, gelatinous battle group. Controlled by an alien sentience, it's going to take over the world and continue to gr expand, grow, and envelop us all. First Grenadiers in disposition, gaining their 10th kill in Veterancy 4, but they're being pummeled here! Couldn't quite get taken out on retreat, however. Meanwhile, Maxim got too close to the... Well, the Rakettenwerfer, who's destroying all the green cover. Nice. And now we've got the Panzer IV, which is a hallmark of an OKW player that's had excellent fuel control. Maxim forces that both squads away. Here comes the Panzer IV. Elsewhere in the south, shock troops and penal battalions. Competing against superior firepower, it seems. Panzer IV is bossing the north. Doesn't pay any heed to the Maxim capping the victory point, though. Barton is a victory point ignoring player sometimes. You'll often see he makes drastic comebacks, and that's because he doesn't tend to play for victory points as well as some other players. Despite being an excellent player himself. Schumann's coming down in the north. Looks like Maxim's facing the wrong way. I'm sure he'll be repositioned very shortly when these JLIs take there you go reposition and ready and an excellent shot by the zisk gun nearly kills the jli squad on retreat meanwhile the zisk gun in the south there's two of the buggers as um 
Done a lot of health damage to the Panzer IV. She had another JLI squad built. I believe that makes four now. So you may nerf them three times in a month, but Barton will st still build them. Overwatch flares ignite. Again, giving excellent sight lines to Barton. Allowing him to push in and survey the battlefield. And get his uh, stern pioneers. A good foothold in the south. Let's check out the centre. Where JLI is supported by Rukket and Verfus are retaking the victory point. What a battle this is going to be. I really feel like we're watching an excellent one. One for the ages here. Fantastic stuff. You can just tell. And my intel before the game just fills me with... Oh! Ho, ho! Good blood, guts and glory! Is now what makes up that uh, house. There's a tree now makes up the panzer. Oh my god, we've got an end panzer! It's Treebeard! Somehow I like going down south. It feels like going downhill. Oh, look at this blobberino from Barton. World of One Tactics. Adaptive camouflage on the Panzer will not save it. Ooh, big satchel in there. JLIs weren't destroyed on retreat. I hope that Panzer somehow keeps... Ooh, this mine will be good, I tell you. Ooh, the Ziskun's been decrewed and he's taken out with the Raquette and Verfa. A double win there and he swept that uh, mine. Meanwhile, by the way, this demo's still active. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. <gasps> What's this? It's Stalinium incarnated itself. It's the Yazif Stalin 2 tank. The IS-2 with 122 millimeters of bunker busting barraging action is on the battlefield. Concussive waves splash around and dismember your brain from your head. Obviously, it misses quite a lot as well. Now, it's stationary, though. You don't want to go up against a stationary IS-2, that's for certain. Looks like um, we've got Luciana beginning to take the initiative. Oh, but he hears the IS-2 coming. He gets out of there. Oh, but it's not actually killed anything yet. And it's got two kills somehow. Oh, the Panzer IV is getting some good, good angle in, but the Ziskun was waiting, of course. Raquette and Verfer was a little bit slow to the action. Again, the fuel's taken! But there's the IS-2 showing its uh, worth with a big four-man shot there. That's it. He's got the Jagdpanzer. I tell you what, the Jagdpanzer means good game in my eyes. The Jagdpanzer is a fantastic case, mate. Tank Destroyer. It's so sexy. I love the uh, German Tank Destroyers of World War II. I love how uh, utilitarian they are, unlike those fancy heavy tanks. Panzer IV. On retreat, harassment duty, shocks are pulled out of action. Ziskun's under duress, keeps itself alive. Jagdpanzer is pushing in. IS-2 under duress. It's going to have to go into battle though, it doesn't care. Ziskun getting shots in on the Jagdpanzer. IS-2 still alive somehow. Here come the Stern Pioneers. Panzer Panzer's watch on. Oh my god, and the Jagdpanzer was taken out from afar by an attack ground shot from the Ziskun. What a battle we're watching. Here comes the Raketenwerfer though. Panzer IV getting some decent shots in also. IS-2's on the slow road to recovery with a Vet Zero combat engineer repairing him. Barton's victory, sorry, fuel count is still quite high. So although he may have lost that Jagdpanzer, he still has a lot to go with. 12 JLIs doing their best to decrew weapons. Oh, but an excellent AT satchel. Wow, that was... Uh, a quarterback style toss there. Almost toss at half a kilometer. IS-2's coming into battle with only 30% health. That's ballsy from Luciano. He doesn't know where. Well, he may know where the Raquette Verfer is. Maybe he saw it die. And there it is, of course. Of course he did. There's A's cold working for him. Here, the Panzer Force already ready for action once more. Oh, but the IS-2... It's getting ballsy also. So surprised it's not got Veteran C1 yet. And the ability to cut points. Such a shit ability. Here comes World of One Tactics. General Von Barton forces the, uh, the wave of infantry into the British lines. Oh, sorry, Soviet lines. Interestingly, in World War One, the Eastern Front was more of a war of manoeuvre and uh, was quite fluid and Shame that uh, Western media's never really covered it with any 
films or anything. I'm sure it's quite interesting at times. Oh, he's going... <laughs> Look at that! He's just cloaking all three squads. He's not quite got this one in cover, so it's not working. But still, the, the intent is there. Tell you what, if the IS-2 sees them... Oh, no, he's going for it now. IS-2 could get a big shot in here. We've also just, by the way, had sex assault called in. There's the first wave of Stuka strafe. Of course, we're going to have the anti-tank and the artillery and then the nuclear bomb and all the other abilities. Nice line of sight being kept. Panzer IV, Veteran C2 getting some shots in. But the stolen Raketten hits it with a huge verf of a rocket. Panther in the build and now completed. Rolling out of the Rhine Metal factory with a beautiful camouflage. Love that one. IS2 watches on as the shocks get hot and heavy. The double combat. Repairs from the combat engineers. Got blowtorches out in the heat of battle. Penal tank. Good, get the wipe here. Net red cover. There you go. Instantly kills them. Due to the increased received accuracy. Stolen Raketten's already got veteran C1. Plinks harmlessly off the Glacius armor. This time penetrates. Shock troops called into action. JLI's harassing the fuel yet again. Panzer IV under duress. The IS-2 forces its way in. Luciano's battling hard. He's fuel deprived. What? He's got 390? You're fucking me. There's no way. I don't understand it. Maybe it's because he completely negated tier 3, I guess. That's the power of call-ins in Company Heroes. Indeed it is. He's, he's completely negated tier structures. So, yeah. Of course he has a lot of fuel. I'm an idiot. Double Panzer IV soon to back up the Panther. It's a Verabu's wet dream on the battlefield. IS-2 has attained Veteran C-1. It's all about getting that uh, better turret traverse at Veteran C-2, though. It's what he needs to make it uh, a little bit more savvy and a, le a little bit less flankable by these more manoeuvrable tanks. Shot troops don't care. They're like a honey badger. <gasps> and they get the kill with the Pepecicious. Can't quite pronounce it the Russian way. I probably should just say PPSHs. Pepeshs, that's it. Something like that. Here they come, though. The cavalry. The armoured cavalcade is going in. Forcing the AT guns back. But the big brother IS-2 is watching over you. Fear not. This has got a huge cannon. And he's not afraid to whip it out. And uh, cock whip is your foes. And smite them into the ground. Such an aggressive vehicle. Well played by Luciano. So lucky to keep it alive in its most uh, tenuous passage of play earlier on. Good victory point harassment by Luciano, by the way. Temporarily regaining a triple cap. It's 260 to 134. 22 kills and climbing for the IS-2. Meanwhile, the Panther's fully repaired, but the two Panzers aren't. They're going to have to wait for the Stern Pioneers to do their thang. What a battle we're watching. Newly built Zis has um, already climbed to Veteran C1. Ooh, penal battalions don't want to stay in there for too long. Panther. Oh, Michael can have two, three Panzer IVs very shortly from Barton. He's got no folks grenadiers left now. It's all JLIs and Stern, one Stern Pioneer. He's lost so much. Let's just have a little look at uh, exactly what has been lost this game. Two penal battalions, two um, combat engineers, a Maxim. Two field con D crews, and of course uh, an M3, and then Barton. Two folks grenadiers and two stern pioneers. So it's been a hot and heavy, high lethality game. In the north, in the church, he surveys as the stern, sorry, the shock troops, with the PTRS also, or bossing the north. IS2s going for a safari down south. The JLI sprint away into cover. Does he know where they are? Is he going to uncover them? He does by accident. The turret's very slow to traverse. He's found them now, though. Meanwhile, keep an eye in the middle as the Panzers rush in. They've gotten around the back of the... Of the AT guns. And they're going in for 
The IS-2, the Panther's in there as well with Combat Blitz. The IS-2's now got its frontal armor facing units, the bonus of the road. Here come the Panzers with Sector Assault raining death from above. Will the IS-2 live? No, of course it will not, as it's now a burning wreck on the battlefield. Who's going to survive, though? We've got a PTRS going in for the Panther. The Panther somehow survives. We've got an anti-tank satchel on one of the Panzer IVs. The veteran C-0 Panzer IV watches on and tries to give him covering fire. Panther did make it out. There's no mines on retreat, but there you go. Just had one of the pan Panthers taken out from afar. With a raquette and verfer, it seems. Anti-tank satchel goes in and damages the engine. Raquette and verfer recruit yet again. Oh, couldn't quite get a max range super shot off. Got field artillery barrage on the JLIs. And we've got a new IS-2 thanks to that huge fuel count. Let's watch this big badass in action. Oh, it's hunting time for the IS-2. Stalin's home. And you've been a very naughty child. The belt's out. It's time for a beating. IS-2 traverses that slow-ass turret and nearly gets the Panther. He combat blitzes out of there. So little health. He makes it through. Here's IS-2. He gets the uh, the shot. And there, fantastic work by Luciano. Good premonition. What a joke, says Barton. <laughs> that was three vehicle kills there. In that the shining esque moment as he hammered open the door with us with an axe rather. Ripped it open. That was the angle there. Caught Barton. Unaware. Again with a... he's going for a lucky sector assault. First one's an anti infantry strafe, so not too much problems for Barton. Barton is reclaiming victory points, though, despite the odds. He's such a fighter, this guy. Ziskun's been decrewed, and he, of course he's going for it. He misses, though, and that's not time he can afford to waste. Raketenwerfer and PTRS coming in, and Barton, with an excellent decision to reverse away, does not get greedy. Allows the Ziskun to be recaptured. Does not want to lose the tank, of course. Two Raketenwerfers in the build. He's going to need them. Victory point situation, by the way. It's pretty fair. It's 144 to 108 right now. JLIs having to fight to keep the victory points. There are no man's land with regards to cover though. And the penals make it. Here comes the new IS-2. Panzer IV's backed his way into a flag. He's going to have to be careful there. Reverses around it finally. IS-2 repositioning. JLI's got to be careful. Oh, two man's down. But only six Mosin Nagants on the retreat, so should be okay. IS-2's going in though. Raquette and Verfa watches on. 69 victory points remaining to 144. What a battle this has been. I just knew it would be. Just knew it. Third, Raquette and Verfa is building. This IS-2 is a menace. But even if he destroys it, guess what? He'll just build another IS-2. That is the call-in meta. I just wish Relic had admitted their design flaw and kind of removed call-ins about five years ago, but never mind. There's always 03, guys. <laughs> okay, and Verfe oh, gets a nice shot in there. Panzer IV getting punished. Oh, and taken out. Max range by the field gun. Oh, and here comes the field artillery barrage. And that's a big one. And Barton has thrown in the towel. What a fantastic battle. Oh, that was a good one. Really enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you did too, despite my cold. I, I guess I casted it okay. Kind of uh, swallowed a lot of mucus in that game, so uh hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, how does this go again? Oh, yeah, we'll do it. Um, so if we play F up here. Yeah, we'll do that. For those that have half the time But still want to watch a cast You're gonna need something that's twice as fast You 
we're gonna need a fast cast It's been a fast cast